Yo, yo, what up, what up, what up? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So this one right here is for the ladies. Now, ladies, you know, I want to talk about self-respect. And I want to talk about the fact that most women don't know how to respect themselves. All right, now, before I get into everything, I just want let's talk about the, the actual term of self-respect, right? Now, basically, it's you respecting yourself. But what does that even mean? Because we always hear that thrown around, and we always hear that thrown around, especially when it comes to, you know, women dating women when it when it comes to sexual you know encounters and 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 sexual situations with guys and all this other stuff and we always hear this thing about you know a woman has to respect herself and if you do this you're not respecting yourself and this and this and that and you know so that shit gets thrown around but what does it really mean for a woman to respect herself right now the thing is if you understand what you're about and what you want and what you like and you are staying true to yourself that means that you are respecting yourself so if you're the type of person that says hey i like to do a b and c and then a b and c presents itself and then you do it you're respecting yourself because you have told yourself that that is what you want right now, if you do D, E, and F, and you don't really like D, e, D, E, and F, but you do D, E, and F, then you are disrespecting yourself because you didn't want to do D, E, and F, but you did it. You understand? So, basically, if you say you like or want to do something or you want things to happen and you go for that and you do it, you're respecting yourself. If you are, you know, doing things... And, 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 and you didn't want to do it and you're just doing it to go along to get along and all this other shit then you are disrespecting yourself right now why do I say this the reason is because a lot of times when you know women encounter men right what they're doing is most of the time they're not really respecting themselves because they never really are in tune with what they really want in the first place. So let me break this down into a, an example so you guys can understand where I'm coming from, right? Now, let's say if a woman is dealing with a guy and he wants to have sex with her. This is like the first date or something or the first or second time they're meeting or whatever, right? Now, what she's going to say is, or you know, generally what women will say, let's say the guy wants to have sex with her and she she's sitting she's sitting there and then she's like Oh, well, I'm not going to have sex with a guy I just met because I have respect for myself, right? Now, if this woman does not want to have sex with this guy, and she doesn't have sex with that guy, that means she is respecting herself, right? But if this woman wants to have sex with this guy, and doesn't have sex with this guy, then she is disrespecting herself. And the thing is, a lot of times, you know, people look at this whole respecting yourself as a woman as it is, you know, it's it's this like one defined thing, like it's defined as this thing. So what, the, what they define it as is that any woman who is sexual with a man quickly is disrespecting herself. So they look at just purely the sexual act of a, of a woman being sexual towards a man disrespectful and disrespecting herself if she doesn't know him uh you know for a long period of time if that's not her boyfriend or husband they see it as disrespect to herself she's not respecting herself which is wrong which is false because all respecting yourself means is that you are doing what you want to do so if a woman meets a man and she has sex with him the first time she meets him, and she likes him, and she wants to have sex with him, and she has sex with him, she is respecting herself. But a woman stepping up to that same guy and, 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 and saying, you know, he wants to have sex with her, and then she wants to have sex with him, and then she doesn't have sex with him, and then her excuse is, I didn't have sex with him because I respect myself, that is bullshit. Because that is not self-respect that is not respecting yourself that is disrespecting yourself because if you wanted to have sex with them you would have sex with them and that would be you respecting yourself see the thing is, is that you're go a lot of women are going off of 
societal uh you know uh sayings and 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 things that they've conditioned women to think you understand so now the disrespect of yourself as a woman has become synonymous with you being sexual with a man and you know it, it's become synonymous with you being uh, uh, uh sexual with him or being you know involved with him like that too quickly or you have to wait and if you don't wait you're disrespecting yourself and th that that makes absolutely no sense See, a lot of you don't even think about the things you're saying. You don't even think about the, you know, what these things mean when you're saying it. Because how, how, how is you, you know, you know, how are you disrespecting yourself if yourself wants this thing and you are giving yourself that thing you want? You understand? How are you disrespecting yourself? See, a lot of you ladies, y'all keep throwing out this bullshit of, oh, I respect myself, so I would never, uh, you know, do this, or I would never do that, right? But the thing you're saying you're not doing, do you really not want to do it? Or are you just saying it because that's what you've been taught to say? You understand? A lot of you ladies are disrespecting yourself and you don't even know it. That's the sad part. Because you yourself want and desire certain things and then you don't go after what you want and desire because you think that if you do that is disrespectful to yourself which is ridiculous you understand so if you understand the concept of self-respect meaning you respecting yourself meaning you understanding yourself meaning you understand what you want and then that is what you go get that is respecting yourself Disrespecting yourself is listening to too much of what society tells you you need or you're supposed to do at any, you know, at, at, at all these particular moments. You understand? And, 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 and then just following that. Even though you might not really deep down want to do that. You're scared of being called a hoe. You're scared of being called a slut. You're scared of, you know, what people are going to think about you. You know, and, and I understand these things are, you know, these things go on. But you got to understand also that, you know, society has mind fucked you into thinking that it is disrespectful for you to want and desire these things and for you to follow through on those desires. That's where they fucked you up at. Because you're saying... Oh, that's disrespectful. How could you, how could you, you know, come at me like that? I would never disrespect myself. That's disrespectful. Like, what are, what are you talking about? What are you, what are you talking about? You understand what I'm saying? When it comes to, you know, disrespecting yourself or respecting yourself, it's something that's personal. It's something that you need to work with on your own. There's something, it's something that you need to, you know, you need to spend time with yourself and ask yourself a couple of questions. You have to say, hey, what do I like? What do I not like? What am I, what do I want to do? What do I not want to do? You understand? And then also when you get into the situation of, uh, or these situations, your feelings or thoughts might change at that moment. So you say, okay, cool. At first I thought I wanted this, but now when, when, when this thing presented itself, I feel differently. I feel a different way. So now I want to do this right now in this specific situation. And then if you follow that and you do that, then that is you respecting yourself. If you're going against all those things, that is you disrespecting yourself. It has nothing to do with the actual content of what we're talking about. See, you, you ladies are so wor for worried about the content, meaning you're worried about uh, 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 the, 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 you know, the saying of, well, you know, if, if, if a guy talks to you when he wants to have sex with you and you do it, then you're disrespecting yourself. You're more, you're thinking about that shit. You're thinking about the content and the, in the context of what these things have been, you know, put in, they put, they put it in this box and then they say, this is what it is. And if you don't follow that, then you're fucked up and you're disrespecting yourself, but you never actually took time to say, Hmm, what does it really mean for me to respect myself? Because in order for you to respect yourself, you need to know yourself. Do you understand? And if you don't know yourself and you don't know what you're what you're about, there's no way that you can respect or disrespect yourself because you don't even know what the fuck is going on with you. So you need to know yourself first 
And you need to understand what you want. And then, then you will actually know if you are actually respecting or disrespecting yourself. You understand? So I, ho I hope you ladies get that. I hope you understand what the hell I'm talking about. I hope that this, this didn't go over your head. I just really, you know, hope you, you understand just it's sinking in. You know, like, like don't get fooled by this nonsense. Understand what it means to respect yourself. All right. So that is it, ladies. I'm done. Uh, if you have any questions, hit me up at ask. Mr. Locario at gmail.com. Make sure you get my book, It's Your Fault You're Single. Tips on finding Mr. Right. Make sure you also go to mrlocario.com and join the membership program. Click on the membership tab and sign up for the women's membership. All right, so I'm out of here. Remember, the truth is inside you. Peace.